hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial we are going to design something new again so let's get started here already i have set the guideline and this paper size is a4 so if you don't know how to set a guideline then go to my other videos like notebook exercise book and page cover you will see how i did it so now I'm going to select my rent angle then you come over here then you drag copy the color code here it is you can see okay Hold your shift key, then I'm going to drag this one up around here and I'll drop it. Then I'm going to duplicate this one again, Ctrl J to duplicate it. Then hold your shift key, then you drag it over here. all right so something like this then i'm going to duplicate this one again then hold your shift key then you drag it down hold your shift key again then you reduce it this way it's okay like this all right then hold your shift key i'm going to reduce this one redo this one again then hold your shift key and you drag this one all right so again what i'm going to do here now i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl j then hold your shift key i will drag this one over here I will leave it over here then I'm going to change the color so that I can identify it easily all right so I will bring this image then position it over here drag it down here for this then you scale it out then select multiply reduce the opacity to 40 okay then right click then apply great clipping mask then you come over here again bring the same image then bring it down over here then you scale it then blend it to 
multiply and reduce the opacity again to 40. Okay. Now I'm going to change this color now to white. Then this image, right click, then great a clipping mask. Reduce the opacity again. Nineteen is okay, so you can see it. All right. Then bring this image. Right click, then create clipping mask. Now, reduce the opacity. Thirty five is okay. Hold your shift key and you drag it to close the gap there, the space there, I mean. Okay. So now I'm going to draw a rectangle over here. This way. It's okay. Then I'm using this color. Then I'm going to draw another one again. Then this one I will remove the fill color. Then apply. this yellow color then set the size to around 6 so that is it then now hold your shift key then you select this one then go to vertical alignment and uh, horizontal alignment. Then bring this logo. Position it around here. Then I'm going to draw a cycle. Hold your shift key, then hold your alt key and drag it out like this. Then I'm going to remove this stroke, then unleave the color white then now increase the fill color to 100% like this it's okay then i'm going to copy to this test here ctrl c to copy then select your test to
then control V to paste then I'm going to use the font Helvetica condensed Then I'm going to reduce the size of this logo like this is okay. Alright. Now I'm going to duplicate this one. Control J. Then copy this one. Ctrl C to copy, then Ctrl V to paste. Then use your arrow key to move it up. Then I'm going to change the color to this color code here. Copy the color code, then come here and you paste it. Then, I'm going to copy this one again, select your test tool, then Ctrl V to paste, then reduce the size. Sorry for the noise of the mouse. Then duplicate this test, Ctrl J. Then you drag it down. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then you reduce the size. Now I'm going to change this one to white. Then also this one to white. Then apply stroke. Take the number to 6 Then hold your Alt key Then you drag it here To copy the layer style Then I will also do the same thing Hold your Alt key Then you drag to this one then you drag it here okay so here is it now select these two Or hold your shift key, then you select apply this uh, left alignment so that it will be in line together. Okay. Now 
I'm going to group it together, select it, then you group it. Select the text, then use your arrow key to move it up here. Now it's okay. Then the next test I'm going to copy again is this one. Ctrl C, then select your test tool, then Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to change it the font to script now. Then Increase the font size. Then come back again to copy this test here. Select your test to then control V to paste. then drag it up here then I'm going to use the font impact I will position it over here then I'll drag it out this way then I'm going to copy this yellow color Then Ctrl V to paste. Then apply stroke. Increase the number. Ten is okay. Okay. Now there's something I'm going to want to do here. Then. I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl J to duplicate, then I'm going to turn off this one, drag this one up, you can see now, so then I'm going to select this one, then hold your Ctrl key, then you click here, you can see then go to your select on the menu go to modify expand then i'm going to expand it by five all right then this one i'm going to convert it to smart object then i'm going to rasterize it then select your eraser tool then I'm going to clean over here. Then Ctrl D to deselect. Okay, so this is the outcome of it. Now I'm going to copy this one again then select your test to then control v to paste reduce the font size now then select and you group it you can use your mouse, hmm. the arrow key on the keyboard then to bring it down. So, this is it. Now, I'm going to copy this test here. Ctrl C to copy. Now, we bring this icon. Then 
right click and rasterize it then select your magic tool then click and delete ctrl d to deselect i'm going back again to bring this one reduce the size rasterize again select your magic tool you click on it and delete then ctrl d to deselect then reduce the size reduce the size of this one select the two reduce the size then now select your test tool then ctrl v to paste then i'm going to change the font to a vertical compress then open the character space a little then ctrl j to duplicate it then you drag it down over here then copy this letter then select your test tool again then ctrl v to paste then select this color then use your mouse sorry i mean the arrow key to move it up then ctrl plus zero then to fit to page so that is the shortcut if you want to fit your your design to page that is ctrl plus zero all right so now we are going to the to the back then i'm going to group this one now then select it all select this one you group it select all then you group it together so now we are going to back page now select your rent angle come over here then you drag it down then use this color Alright, so then I'm going to bring a guideline around here. There's something I forgot to do around here. Draw a line here. Then leave it white then this test i'm going to take it up then duplicate this one 
Ctrl J or you drag it here. Then you drag it, take it up here. It's okay. Okay. Now bring another guideline over to this position. Then I will take this one up. Then I'm going to bring another one around here. Then bring another one around here. Okay, so this I'm going to use this guideline, then select your pen tool. Then before then, I'm going to bring another guideline. Then position your guideline around 25%. That is the center of this rectangle. Then now click here. Then you come over here. Then you drag it this way, hold your control key, then to apply adjustment. Okay, then hold your alt key, then you click here. Now bring your hand over here. Then you drag. Then hold your control key. Again, then arrange it. Okay. Now hold your alt key. You click here. Then come over here. Then you click. Then come to the middle of this guideline then you click and drag again hold your control key to adjust it now hold your alt key you click here come over here then you now drag again Then hold your control key. I think it's okay. It's okay like this. Now hold your alt key again. You click here, then you join it together. So, drop your mouse. Then drag it up. You can see. All right. So, then come over to this place. Then you select gradient overlay so here i have it here this is the first one so the code is here so you can do it so everything is here this is the first one and this is the second one so i will leave it under the descriptions so so that you can try it all 
okay then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl j or you drag it over here then hold your shift key then you drag it up it's okay like this then come up here then like this I think it's too much. I have to reduce it. Something like this. Okay. So now I'm going to double click here. Then select the gradient. Now I'm going to use this second one here. So you can see the differences. There is a changes at the screen. Then when I change it to this one, you will see. Then OK. Then duplicate this one again. Then hold your shift key then you drag it to this point then hold your shift key you drag it to this point so this is our guideline so you drop it there now i'm going to remove right click then i'm going to remove the layer style now you can see so the color i'm going to use now I will click then I'm going to use this color then I will reduce the opacity to 31 31 is okay okay now I'm going to duplicate this one also Then hold your shift key, drag it, okay, then I'm going to change the color of this one to white, then increase the opacity, then this one I'm going to Increase the opacity to around 40 or 41. It's okay like this. Okay. So now Then select your test tool and I'm going to type 2022 change the color to this background color then bring it to the center then you increase it then I'm going to duplicate it Ctrl J to duplicate then you type again that is an annual Youth Sport 
so you position it at the center here then you duplicate this one again ctrl j and you drag it down you need to annual youth um, conference then position this one at the center now select the letter then you reduce it use your arrow key to position it at the center so something like this now the last thing i'm going to do now i'm going to select this round shape i mean the round orange angle then i'll draw it over here then position it at the center And I'm going to bring so something like this. Now go to view, then clear guidelines. So this is how the design come out. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like and share.